If you work in the theater, you're a great communicator. You have analytical thinking skills because if you can analyze and understand a play by Shakespeare, by Chekhov, by any of the great writers, you have those great thinking skills. You're also very team oriented because theater, as it's as it implies, is a very communal activity. And once you get that combined with great deadline skills, because opening night comes for every theater person, that means those skills are there. And what it also prepares students for, even if they don't decide to go into theater, but in the world of work, is that those skills translate very well into all sorts of different professions. And the other thing which our society needs as much as anything, creativity. The creativity to problem solve, look at situations from a new point of view, and provide ways of thinking of how we might change things. One of the things that uh, is ongoing in terms of also, you know, what is going on now in the field, but is also going on in our country, is that on the city level, on the state level, and on the national level, we're having a lot of budget cuts. One of the things where people think that cuts can easily come is from the arts. And so that affects us on a national level, on a local level, but also affects how people are going to pursue artistic work. Uh, this has been an ongoing problem for human beings since uh, since forever, the ancient Greeks had varieties of ways in which they sponsored the arts and through classes like arts operations and other courses, we work to help our students understand what the field is, but also to understand what the interface is of public funding for the arts and private funding of the arts and professional funding of the arts.